in Ethiopia, they really love to clap on all fours, just like this. And so imagine that you're traveling to a very small coffee-growing community, and you're going there because you're, you've become part of their community because you're standing in solidarity with these people, and you're going there to celebrate with them because a new school is being built. And you're expecting maybe that you're going to see 50 or 100 people because it's a very small community. But instead, you're met by like 2,000 clapping, smiling, beautiful, happy people. Don't you cry, sweet little man, between the heavens and the sea. A gentle wind shall bear me on. The trip for me, in a lot of ways, is about soaking up the culture and the music and the art. Just yesterday, getting off the bus and coming up here to this rooftop and hearing the call of prayer from like eight different directions. I'm just hoping to kind of take it back home and make a record that can translate to folks around the world. I mean, one of the most beautiful things about art and, and music is that it brings people together. The work we do with Radiant City often centers around helping people find their voice and encouraging them to tell their story through music and visual art. We've worked with people of all different ages and backgrounds and have found that the collaborative journey and the creative process really is something that is unifying and crosses a lot of borders. Traveling to the Congo means traveling back to our source, traveling back to the womb. As children, it was our mothers who told us our first stories of rhythm through their own heartbeats. That rhythm was very calm and distinct. It was very melodious and soothing. That rhythm gave us our first real breath and indication of the story of life. I mostly like to run for causes because I think that there is nothing more powerful than a group of people running together for a common goal. The world seems to have all but forgotten the Eastern DRC. It's tied for one of the poorest countries in the world. The mortality figures are so immense that they've become absurd, almost meaningless. How can you put a human face to over five million deaths? And I think it's so crucial that we go there to show the Congolese people that we have not forgotten them. We know they're there, we care. Women can't walk very far from their homes without fear of being raped or killed. And development of the entire region cannot happen unless women are empowered and women are given rights. I want you to come with us on a journey. Come with us on a journey to tell a story. A story of how tears from the past can become steps to creating new relationships, new connections and collaborations to build hope in a new future. Come with us so that we can both be engaged in that story, partner with us so that story can become larger and more powerful than any of us could ever have dreamed. Yeah.